Well, take a look at the pictures there, wow. Rosemary. Again, uh, you're watching it. They're coming in. That is uh, unbelievable. Look at that. That is arriving on the coast. As you're watching these uh, dramatic pictures there from uh, Japan, the earthquake occurring about 150 kilometers east of Sendai, I do want to mention that Japan is not the only uh, place that is being affected here, but my goodness, uh, it is now taking the brunt of it there, uh, Rosemary. That is uh, unbelievable. Extraordinary. I mean, you can see the power lines going down as all of that water roars through and rips. And of course, it is close to the coast. You can see the ships and the boats that are already in the harbour there, but all of the cars are being drawn into that. I mean, this is just extraordinary seeing these pictures as this uh, unfolds before our very eyes. We've never, we've never seen this. We're watching a live tsunami hit Japan. If you're watching us uh, from around the world here on CNN, that is what you're watching. Those are not taped pictures. That is a live picture of what appears to be a major tsunami arriving uh, along the Japanese coast. Just uh, incredible scenes there. And, of course, Ivan, let's talk about those waves, because you were, you were saying like 500 miles for our U.S. audience, uh, 800 kilometers per hour for our global audience. I mean, it, just extraordinary strength involved in that. And you say it comes, uh, presumably that first one is the strongest, and then the ones that follow are weaker. Is that correct or not? Not, not necessarily. Uh, if you remember in the Abanda Aceh uh, tsunami, the uh, initial one was bad enough, but then we had... Uh, uh, essentially uh, wave three and wave four, which were actually higher and uh, worse. So uh, the, the damage uh, is ongoing right now, but may continue over the next uh, several hours uh, because uh, we, we talk about these waves that come in, each successively uh, producing uh, damage here. So we'll have to watch that closely. And again, uh, not just Japan, but we have a, a regional across the Pacific now, a tsunami watch uh, in effect. And as you watch these dramatic pictures, uh, that is telling me that since it's tsunami was generated and it has now hit Japan. We were talking about other countries that are going to be in the path of it. And of course, Japan didn't have much time to warn their folks there along the seashore because they are 150 kilometers to the west of the epicenter. And this thing is moving at 800 kilometers per hour. Uh, do the math. It has certainly arrived and arrived uh, with uh, quite a fury there along the coast of Japan.